Okay, hopefully I'm in the right spot this time because I just don't know what to do. Okay, sweet. That cutscene lets me know I'm actually at the right spot. Yeah. Tell John back at camp that the wagon is in position. So... Let me go over to the map here. And I have to travel. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. What's going on? Come on. Lord have mercy. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. oh, are you okay? Oh, no, he's dead. Well, he's not going to need any of his stuff, so I'll just take it from here. Thank you. That is so awkward. I was just about to ask him if he needs help when he instantly gets killed. Yep. Oh, that is so awkward indeed. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good. I'm glad. Nice. That's cool. This is Lover Ladies here. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please follow my channel and subscribe. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. By the way, I decided to create my first coloring book called Taco Dreams. I'll leave the link below in the description so you can check it out. If you like to color, you can definitely check out my coloring book which is on sale at Amazon. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. And and if you know any kids that like to color as well, send them my way because I feel like Taco Dreams would definitely be a good coloring book for everyone. Some about a massacre and a last surviving Indian. Stay out of my way, O'Driscoll. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Wow! Look at them gossiping and talking about curses. No. I believe in bullets, and not too much else. Mm, mm, mm. Of course, authors, that type. Where's John, by the way? I need to tell him that the wagon's all set. Oh, he's right here. Looking emo as ever, sitting underneath his tree in the shade. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles, I'll go get him. Cool. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Oh, uh, sure. okay. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Arthur is so sarcastic. All right, so before I go, let me go and change my outfit because I know it's dumb hot and I'm sweating like a pig, honestly. Let me just... Where's my... There you go. Change clothes. Outfits. Let's go. And I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this would be good. There you go. So... Are you okay? What? My goodness. Wow, everyone's in a mood today. I gotta get out of here. Poor Edith. She's just, she's just having a rough life, honestly. Let me brush my horse. J9 needs a nice good old one-on-one. -on -one. Alright. 
right. That brush is good. Let me feed her too. She loves, well, this horse loves carrots. Ooh, oat cakes. Look, this horse is eating better than me. All right, let's meet John at the, wa at the wagon. Never mind, I was going to leave, but I noticed that Abigail wants to speak to me, so let me go ahead and see what she wants. And also, I didn't see any little blimp showing Come me on, wh now, where John wants me to go, so... Haunting? No, I'm not going to hunt. I gotta go see Abigail. Oh, Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Why is everyone in the mood? I just wanted to say... Sorry about your husband. Your home. He was one of the hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Wow. Okay. Sadie. All right, Abigail. What's Hi, good? Arthur. Come here a minute. Yes. What is it? What happened? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Damn, you really okay. gonna lay it out like Thank that? You. Okay, so where's Jack? Where's Jack Jack? So I can babysit him for a little while. And also, this whole camp is in a real bad sour mood. I'm not about to sit here and indulge or or get their vibes. I'm here because I'm a chilled out happy cowboy. And that's exactly what I'm trying to be. A chilled out happy cowboy. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Yeah. Sure. You're, it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Aww. Let's go get it then. Look at Jack. Go He's so there. excited. Yeah. That's so adorable. Bendito. He's I'm so. Lift you on when you're ready. He is so excited. All right, come on. Come on, Nene, let's go. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Aww. I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. Yeah, that was Why too brutal. back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Aww, oh, he well, left so it. I can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. I love Lil Jack. He's so adorable. He's very humble, too. He's not a brat or anything. He's a good kid. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Bendito. Yeah, right here. Come on. This is a really good spot. I'm not going to lie. Bendito. You know what? The mom was right. He really does like me. Yeah, right here. Oh, I got a fishing pole too. We need some bait. Cheese. Really? Okay. I'm gonna use some cheese. 
cheese? Bellier the better. Really? Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? When it starts moving. The tip of your fishing rod just twitching. Don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Fish on the line. Pull him in. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying. Woo! I just love how this game's teaching me how to fish. This is See so cool. That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Oh. Wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Got it. Seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. Is that good fish to eat? Probably not. Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Okay. Why not? Take a break from fishing. I want to make something. Okay. Go right ahead. You do whatever you want to do, okay? All right. I'm going to try and find a bigger fish. I need to fix some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Okay. Please don't get lost or kidnapped. I would not be able to live with myself if anything happened to you, Jack. Got it. There, got there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, little fishy. Come on. I got you. I. Oh, 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 oh. Don't struggle. There you go. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. Okay, he's right there then, so that's cool. I just love how this game is really teaching me how to fist. This is really amazing. Come on. There you go. There you go. Did I get a good fish? Ooh, yeah, this is really nice. This one's a smallmouth bass. Not fast. Hell yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Hey, we got some dinner. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, <laughs> something happens. And you can get food for days. Exactly. Really? Mm -hmm. If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Are you sure, Arthur? You don't sound sure. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Aww, that's cute. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Whoa, it's the Pinkertons. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. Only $5,000? Wow. For me? I should try and increase that even more. In. We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. 
Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Wow, so, that's crazy. <laughs> The fact that you admitted to killing him. Toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You I should kill you. Savagery and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Yeah, you. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. I should kill both of you enjoy right then fishing, and there. Kid, while you still can. <laughs> I should kill both of them right oh, now. Dang. No one to worry about, no one at all. Well, let's pick up your things and get home. I can't even fish with Jack without these Pinkertons up my ass. Disgusting. Late, your mother would be worried. Let's head back. So they were bribing me with five thousand dollars. Yeah, let's go, honey. Let's go. I'm in a sour mood now. I was trying to fish, have fun, and these Pinkertons here. Threatening me and, and stuff. Screw that. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. He's dead. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. Let it's me worry. Man. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was okay. Mm. I think mm. it's a lot of waiting around. Yep, it is. It is. Too much waiting at times. But I got a nice fish, so we should be all set for dinner. And look, your mom's right there. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Mm. <laughs> Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Great. Now we have to worry about the we Pinkertons. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Just well, to let you know. Because I'm loyal to fun. you. Well, what do we do now? Move out, maybe? I say we do nothing. Just okay. Here. Okay. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay. I guess we'll just sit here like sitting ducks waiting to be attacked, I guess. Oh man. I gotta get out of here, honestly. Whoa, what's going on? Are you okay? What happened? Oh, the horse fell on her. I don't know why. It's my friends. 
I got you. Don't worry. Just hold still, okay? Just hold still. Hopefully you're not hurt. Just lift as hard as you can. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. So I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Yeah, come on, let's go. Do you know Valentine? I live there. Yeah! I've been there a couple times. So, let's go on my horse, so you could be safe. You know? Because you could have definitely died. And the fact that your legs didn't cave in or broke that's good too honestly yep. damn just imagine riding the horse and then suddenly it collapses right on top of you and i know horses are pretty heavy too damn who knows how long she's been like that for too i'm just pretty glad she was able to far alone, you know Walk it off, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband. Well, it's just me and my boy now. And I'm so sorry. Fine work. Mm. I'm so sorry to hear I'm that. Sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. Single I won't mom. Saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. That sounds pretty nice. Said he'd pay me for the work. Yeah, sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... Suspicious? Odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. At least go in with a gun or a weapon. Like this. Yeah. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. This sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Wow, that's sad. We're close now. Just a little further. Can I give her some money? I want to give her some money. I feel bad. She's a single mom. Raising a son, trying to find a decent job. Like, she's just trying to do well for her and her kid. I feel bad. I definitely want to be able to give her some money. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You'll be well. All right, be safe. I'll leave when you are. Shut up! Anyways, is she good? All right, she's good now. She should be all set. You done enough harm here. Mind your business. How about that? Wow, I can't even relax here. Let me go ahead and hitch my horse. And at this point, I deserve a nice bath. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get, an, get myself a nice bath. Because I've been... I, I did not mean to bust open that door. I am so sorry. Can I get a hot bath, please? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Thank you, because clearly my shirt is dirty. And you know what's the funny part? What's the point of having a bath if I can't even wash my clothes? Seriously. See? I knew I needed a bath. Look at all that sweat. Nasty. The fact that I had to pay. Would you like some extra help there? 
Yes, ma'am. I would accept the deluxe bath. Oh, sounds good. Who's coming in? Good. Now, don't you worry about a thing. Okay. Oh, she's really pretty. How you doing? Not You're sweating wise, too. Huh? Yeah, it is. I appreciate it. I definitely need it. I had a long day today. You know? I witnessed this guy getting I killed by his horse. Like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere? Okay. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. <laughs> yes, indeed. I just love the relaxing music, too, honestly. Along with this nice little bath. And I just realized something. Is that wine that they're offering? Well, That's funny. Once. She never bathed me. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. Damn, Arthur is really just being vulnerable. And she's like, mm, let's not do that. So, how are you doing? Yes, not too bad. Okay, that's cool. So, about that wine. I love how I can drink and get clean at the same time. So, what do you do when you're not working? Hmm, well, walks outside town are kind of nice. Okay, that's cool. So, this is really your job, honestly? Just bathe people? Isn't that kind of like a modern-day CNA, in a way? Because I know uh, CNAs feel tense. give people baths along with doing blood work and stuff. Yeah, All I right. am intense. That's I'm perfect. not going to lie. Thanks. And a kiss on the forehead? Nice yes. To know you. It was worth the 50 cents. I got a kiss on the forehead. That made my day. All right, let's head on out. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.